are the hero of the hour. I'm proud of you, Lieutenant. You've done well. Just doing my job. Jack Carden walked up to the Sen's Tower's front door and surrendered himself in broad daylight. I never thought I'd see the day. Carden's help will give us quite an edge against Tavis and the others. I'm glad you could change his mind. Do we have Carden in a secure location? Shortly. First, we'll make sure he doesn't have any tricks up his sleeves. I haven't come this far by taking chances. The Justicar's computer files included messages relayed between four locations. Our technicians are working to pinpoint those locations now. There can be no doubt that the messages will lead us to the other traitors. Thanks to your efforts, we'll be able to bring them all to justice very soon. What are my orders in the meantime? As it happens, we've already discovered the location of one of the Havoc traitors, Wraith. You remember Senator Krasul from your meeting with the Senate earlier? Wraith kidnapped him from his home just afterward. We've tracked them to a remote space station called Port Raga. How could Wraith manage to kidnap a Republic Senator? Wraith was chosen for Havoc Squad for a reason. Her skills are exceptional. One of our teams is already en route to Port Raga. They'll investigate the situation and give you a detailed report on arrival. You've accomplished some amazing things, Lieutenant. But there's no time for a break yet. Whatever Wraith is planning, we cannot allow her to succeed. Understood? What about transport, General? Havoc Squad requires its own starship for operational flexibility. A ship has already been transferred to your command. It's waiting at the spaceport now. You're the best CO ever. Put it to good use, Lieutenant. Fly to Port Raga and meet with the advance team immediately. Your orders are to rescue Senator Krasul and capture or eliminate Wraith at all costs. Good luck, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Let's get out there and take down some traitors. Master at last! I am C2N2, steward of this vessel. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. Why would General Garza saddle me with some overblown protocol droid? You're not even armor-plated. Every soldier requires proper logistics to function. I provide the highest support level available. C2 series droids represent the latest advances in everything from starship technical maintenance to nutritional advice tailored for your specific organic needs. Welcome aboard the Rendili Hyperworks BT-7 Thunderclap, a rapid assault craft designed especially for Republic Special Forces at enormous taxpayer expense. Along with the usual accommodations, you'll find a secure captain's locker for storing valuables. Your bridge contains an ever-updating map of the galaxy. It's quite beautiful to look at. Priority alerts from the Republic Network are accessible at the Holonet console. Long-range communications are available via the Holo terminal. And finally, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to meet. Do you have any questions, Master? Prep the ship for flight. We're leaving shortly. The ship is fueled and ready, Master. There are just a few final points we should review first. As you can see, I am not equipped for physical danger. My function is to maintain the starship as your home away from home. I am happy to assist you with any non-hazardous task, of course. I pride myself on the utmost attention to detail. What do you consider a non-hazardous task? I am programmed to modify other technology. I can also perform long-range surveillance and diplomacy. I'm quite useful, I assure you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on the bridge. The ship's computers will handle the rest. Calling Coruscant Spaceport Authority. Request permission to depart. You are clear for departure. Have a pleasant flight.
Hey, hey, my number one sister in arms. Good to see you again, Lieutenant. Hope you're ready to crack some skulls because you've really got your work cut out for you on this one. What do we have here, Sergeant? A real good time in the making. That's what we've got here. Let's start with the accommodations. Port Raga is privately owned and officially neutral, but Wraith and her pals have taken over behind the scenes. My boys and I managed to tweak the sensors and keep your landing inconspicuous, but as soon as you step out of this hangar, it's party time. How many am I up against? We couldn't get a solid count without giving ourselves away. Somewhere between a lot and a whole lot. All Imperial. Wraith has Crestful locked up in a hangar at the other end of the station. There's heavy security plus a big bonus. Explosives. Not enough bang to trash the station, of course. But plenty to ruin your day if you're in that hangar when they blow. Play it careful in there. Are you bringing your team in with us, Sergeant? I'd love to, but Garza's orders were pretty clear. Havoc goes in alone. We'll get your back if things go bad, though. I'd say it's time to get out there and get our Senator back. What do you say? Havoc Squad, move out. It's about time. See you on the other side, Lieutenant. Good luck. I should have known Garza would try to keep all of this inside her twisted little family. Well, don't just stand there. You know how to defuse bombs, don't you? Ray said they'll explode if I leave the room. She has a remote detonator, too, so be quick. Can you tell me what she's planning? That traitor was going to force me to go on record, saying the Senate officially abandoned Havoc Squad on Endo Prime. I wouldn't mind knowing why you abandoned Havoc myself. Havoc abandoned us? They invaded Endoprime and incited a massive armed response from the Empire. Do you realize what will happen if this situation goes public? The Senate would be a firestorm. All of our judgments publicly called into question. And General Garza and Spec Force Division would be the first to burn. That's not gonna happen. A wise decision. I'll admit, I'd like to see the look on that traitor's face when all of her bombs suddenly shut down. To watch that coward scurry away into the shadows when she realizes that her plans have failed would be priceless. Rescuing you will reveal my presence to Wraith? Surely Wraith's remote will tell her if the bombs are no longer working. Then she'll flee like the coward she is. These bombs need to stay active until I kill Wraith. Fool! She will detonate these bombs the moment she sees you! I'll be killed! Wraith has to be stopped, no matter the cost. What? Are you insane? I'm a senator of the Galactic Republic. If you fail to save my life, you'll be tried for treason. You'll be executed. Get me out of here, you worthless fool. Get me out of here. You. Lovely to see you again, Wraith. Mission failed, Lieutenant. Senator wasn't my objective, Wraith. You are. Good. Last words? It doesn't have to be this way, Wraith. Come home. Goodbye. Lieutenant, we heard the explosion. What happened? Is Senator Crassel all right? The Senator gave his life so that I could catch Wraith. You're kidding me. Doesn't sound like the Crassel I've heard about. He must have really hated her. Did you have any luck taking down Wraith? 
Come on, tell me we got something out of all this. Target neutralized, Sergeant. That's something. Galaxy's bound to be a safer place without her in it. Look, we'll take care of the cleanup here. Garza will want your report ASAP. I appreciate all of your help, Sergeant. Oh, my pleasure. Come on, boys. Let's see what bits of the late Senator we can find. See you around, Lieutenant. Take care of yourself out there. I have reprogrammed your vessel's food processor to reduce the crew's caloric intake. Some of them were growing a bit thick. Lieutenant, I'm glad you called. I'm not sure what to make of Sergeant Jackson's report. While I'm pleased you were able to neutralize Wraith, allowing a senator to die, this is a very dangerous line to tread. Kill the Havoc traitors at any cost. That's my mission. True. But the ultimate purpose of the mission is to safeguard the Republic. And I'm not sure that letting a Senator die is in line with that. I won't claim to miss Senator Krasel's involvement in our affairs, but his death will not be easy to explain away. Why not tell the truth, General? The Empire will eventually strike at us in force, probably sooner than later. Spec Force needs to be operating at its fullest. A large-scale Senate investigation would distract us, Waste resources, cost lives. I'll be more careful in the future. Be careful, but never be afraid to do your job. Now, our technicians have decoded the first two sets of data from the Coruscant Relay. Your first two targets are Taris and Nar Shaddaa. Taris and Nar Shaddaa. I'll move out right away. Good luck, Garza out. <laughs>